Jim and I were working together that day, the whole day pretty much. There was a radio call that they needed uh, paramedics out to gate 36. Just the, the tone of the voice, kind of knew something was up. When I looked down, I saw just a pair of legs laying down on the ground. Heard it was Jim and uh, called the paramedics. It's going to choke him. <laughs> When I got down there, I saw Jim laying on his side. He was, he was blue. It was scary. He was dead. It really was. I rolled him over on his back. His lips were blue. Just relied on the training. And, you know, there was no thought. Just, you know, this guy needs CPR. We knew the paramedics were on the way. We knew the phone call had been made. But it just seemed like forever. When I got there, they said that he probably wasn't going to make it and that I probably should think about getting the family home. Jim's my whole life. We've been together a lot of years. And um, I think uh, God knew that if he took him, I'd be a real mess. And I'm just thankful, like I said, for every one of the men that were there. It wasn't meant to be that he was to leave me up. I just say thank you every time I see him that they have you know, given him back to me and my kids and our grandchildren. There just aren't words. I've read it probably maybe 40 times in the last year and a half, and I still can't get through it without, without being emotional. 368 days. That's how many days it's been since my life changed. 368 more days. I have my dad. We did what we could and it was successful and that's, that's why we're trained. That's why Southwest mandates that we're trained. My words would be if you have the opportunity to learn CPR, I would take it. No matter where you're at work, outside, at your home, everybody should know CPR. What I like for them to take away from this story is how important it is to take the time to learn such an easy skill to save a heart that's just too good to die and to give someone back their loved one, whether it be a father, a mother, a child, a parent, to give that life back and give that life a second chance to live on. If we'd have lost him that day, this whole place would have changed. He's such a figure here. When I see Jim, um, I smile on a daily basis. I do. I couldn't tell you how I would feel if I hadn't acted, if I hadn't jumped in and started to try to help. It reminds me every day that what I do know as far as CPR, it actually gave me the chance to spend more time with him as well as his family to spend more time with a, a very special man. Every day, every time I, I, I get up, I, I'm thinking I get to see her um, almost. Just a lot of things that uh, you see, my kids, you know, my grandkids. And uh, when I stop and think about that is, is I've been given another day. And every day that I wake up, I, I, I love getting up. I love coming to work. You know, I love my job. I love my, my family. And these are things that I wouldn't have had. And uh, I, how do you thank somebody for, for what they did? You can't really say thank you. but. The importance of it is, is that if they hadn't known it, I could have been anywhere else where somebody didn't know CPR and I wouldn't be here today.